All right. Um, welcome to the last presentation session of the day. It's the how do you solve a problem uh, like a Maltese language uh, Wikipedia presented by uh, Tony Neville here. Um, so Maltese Wikipedia is, a, is an interesting case and something that we felt is going to be very interesting to the audience here. And that's why we've made it into a live presentation. It's it's an interesting challenge for a Wikipedia and a language community because it's a it's a community where whose language is the national language of Malta. It has an estimated half a million native speakers, and it's also it boasts a um, an official status of the of a language in the European Union. At the same time, it says that it's the least popular language in the European Union, although arguably that might be British. English. Um, the Tony and Neville are the founding members of uh, Wikimedia Community Malta, and uh, they have an information pack presentation for us. So um, without wasting any more time, I'm handing over to them. Thank you very much, Daria. So uh, it is indeed a problem, and we think the problem is more language-based than uh, Wikipedia-based. Um, you know, I mean, immediately, if you get into Wikipedia and you start looking at the languages, you'll see that Maltese, you know, isn't, well, anywhere obvious to be found. And then you keep looking and you find that it's it's below 200, uh, the 200 uh, uh, entry. And uh, the reason for this is that there are, uh, you know, fewer than 4,000 articles on the Maltese language Wikipedia. Um, and if we do a, a quick comparative kind of look at all this with other languages, so we do Maltese and English, well, English for the obvious reason, uh, but then, you know, we do Welsh uh, with Italian for geographic proximity and Icelandic and uh, Swedish, again, for geographic proximity, you can see that there's a disparity, yeah, that there's, there's a disparity here. And again, if we simply isolate the three small languages, with Maltese with half a million, you know, with, with, with Welsh with slightly more than that and Icelandic with slightly less than that, you'll see that there's there's a great disparity there uh, across how many active users or editors actually there are and how many edits and articles, you know, are on that particular language, Wikipedia. And these numbers are from a few weeks ago when we were pre preparing the, uh, the presentation. So if we, if we see what really guides us uh, through this, and uh, it, it's really something that uh, Jimmy Wales said uh, about 13 years ago. And we like to go back to this. And I'm not going to read you the whole quote. But the whole thing is it's also how, how there are you know, uh, other languages that are overshadowed by a larger language. Uh, so the, the, the case for, for Spanish, for Basque and Catalan, for, for example, or English for Welsh. Uh, for Maltese, that's English, of course, because of the colonial history. But uh, aside from that, uh, you know, there's still a literature associated with this language and a whole culture associated with this language that clearly makes it viable as a Wikipedia uh, language. So let's put that aside and, and, and move on to see where things really are. And that's, that's kind of a bit of a background. And again, we like to look at, at uh, what's going on in Wales or what has been going on in Wales for comparison, and if we look at what's happened over the past uh, 17 years or so since the Welsh language Wikipedia started, and the number of articles uh, that, that 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 as they've grown over the years, and at the same time, organizationally, what's going on, what's been going on there, first with a user group, and, and then with uh, working more closely with Wikimedia UK, uh, what have you. And if we compare this, say, to what's gone on in, in Malta. Here, you can see again how how clear uh, the disparity is over over the years. In that, you know, uh, 16 years later, we still haven't exceeded uh, 4,000 articles, even though there are other similarities, perhaps, uh, going on uh, with the Maltese language Wikipedia. So, again, how do we how do we move move uh, further into understanding? what's going on. So if we go to the next slide, uh, we can see that uh, there is a, a Wikimedia user group uh, that we belong to, 
in Malta. And this has been registered as what we in the UK would call a charity since 2015. So it's quite an established charity in, in that way. It's also been a Wikimedia Foundation affiliated user group since 2016. But of course, it operates as a user group. So it has no employees, at least not just yet. It's based on Valletta. And there's the there's the uh, address for 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 the the user groups uh, uh, website. So there's this there's this level of activity going on that is perhaps separate to the language uh, Wikipedia. And you'll see because the annual activities in Malta so far through the user group have been on on things like Wiki loves monuments and Wiki loves art, most especially on art and feminism. And it's only through the CE, that is the Central and Eastern European Spring uh, Contest, that uh, the, the, the user group has started engaging with the Maltese language Wikipedia. So if we were to take very quickly um, a, 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 an overview look at some of the, the activities, I mean, like with, um, with Wikilove's Monuments, for example, you know, the, this has been gone uh, since uh, 2016. And, and working in, in quite a good way. I mean, if we look at some of the numbers, if we look at some of the numbers for this, um, you know, I mean, here's, here's aside from the numbers, actually, no, let's slow down a little bit. Let's look at, at a couple of nice photos there. And we did include one uh, there of the winners from the first year even uh, for Richard Neville there, lovely, one of the lovely castles that we have and the towers that we have in Malta. Uh, but if we look at the numbers, uh, seriously, you know, um, the numbers are quite encouraging, even though thing is, things have dwindled down uh, in the last year or two. And there are other reasons for that other than lack of interest. I mean, there are organizational issues that we may or may not get into later. But it, it's quite encouraging to see uh, this kind of level of activity from such a small community. But none of this uh, is uh, uh, engaging with the Maltese language Wikipedia, as Neville will explain in a minute. If we go to another uh, activity, for example, and we look at, at Wikilove's art, which has been taking place since 2017, you know, working very closely with some glam organizations. And again, you know, we look at some of the outputs. Uh, if we look at some of the outputs here, we've been looking at working uh, on articles for a number of articles. So the next slide will show us uh, that, uh, that, you know, I mean, there's, these are all Maltese articles, uh, articles, or rather, I should say, about, about Maltese artists in the English language Wikipedia, for the most part. Uh, and, and that's where the attention has been. And again, focusing on art and feminism to address the gender gap and the kind of, you know, global approach to approaching the gender gap rather than a localized approach to approaching the gender gap. I mean, again, you know, looking at, at some of the, the metrics related to this, I believe, is what we have here. Uh, or don't, yes, we do. Um, you know, I mean, it, it, it's not it's not something to write home about, but again, it's nothing to sneeze at too much, you know, considering, again, the number of editors being involved. And the first year, although there were 22 uh, editors involved and there was less going on, the reason for that was that because we, we got a bunch of, hangers on and uh, people who are more interested in the art than, than, than Wikipedia. But, but at least we can see now we're kind of establishing a base relating to this, and this has been uh, going on. Again, if we look at where we are uh, most recently with the next event, um, you know, which is, which is CE Spring, um, we only started doing this last year. And again, you can see the number of new articles in the Maltese language Wikipedia just through this, you know, uh, right there on, on the slide. Uh, working with 11 editors, you know, working uh, actively on on articles, uh, but at the same time, you know, uh, working in other languages. So this this was really this was really quite good. Uh, we thought. I think this is where I leave it, and I pass it on to to Neville, who will will kind of address some of the analysis we've been doing in in relation to the work that's going on with the Maltese language Wikipedia, since this is where it really starts with the Maltese language Wikipedia. So before I, read, I, I, before I really get into the analysis, I want to, to mention the last project that we, we've, you know, the newest project that we've, worked, we've planned at least, which is a QRpedia project uh, taking place across Valletta. And then through this project, we're kind of trying to bring the work we've done on Wikilove's monuments together with uh, the work that's been done on CE Spring. Um, by identifying uh, 11 monuments across the city of Valletta and trying to, to contribute to the preservation of the Maltese language 
through, uh, through co content developing for these uh, 11 monuments. These include historical sites, but they also include uh, public figures, historical figures, historical locations. So it, it is quite a range. Uh, now, uh, to, to talk a little bit about kind of the, the current state of Maltese language Wikipedia, we drew up this table, which uh, gives a, a very brief snapshot of where we are in terms of, you know, the, the breadth of content and the breadth of, of engagement with uh, Maltese language Wikipedia. To date, or until recently, at least until 30th of June, there were uh, around 3,500 articles um, with uh, around 17,000 registered users. But of these, only 33 are actually active users. Uh, and that kind of compares relatively well with uh, Iceland and Wales, which are the two language Wikipedia that Tony was, was, was mentioning earlier. And that is, it's just under 0.2% uh, of total registered users being active within the past month. Uh, Maltese language Wikipedia has four administrators at present. Uh, two of them are actually delivering the presentation right now, uh, but we'll get into that later. Um, and uh, we've had, actually, we've had seven new registered users uh, in the month of May, which might not sound like a lot, but it's actually the highest rate since December 2018. So that kind of gives you an idea of the, the level of growth of Maltese language Wikipedia over the past couple of years. If we look at the, the growth of content across the lifespan, so this graph here uh, shows the, the number of edited, edited pages ever since Maltese language Wikipedia was started. As you can see, there was kind of a continual growth until around 2013. And there was a peak in March 2013 where there were approximately 2,000 articles edited in that month. And then a huge, honestly, unexplained spike in in the month of May, uh, in April 2013, excuse me, when there were over 4,000 articles. But ever since then, it's been uh, diminishing returns, really. And we've only seen uh, a slight growth uh, of late. Uh, in fact, if we look at the content over the past two years, uh, we can see that it's been more or less stable for the most part, with uh, a small spike in April 2019 and an even bigger spike uh, over the past couple of months. And this, uh, I think, coincides with our participation in uh, CE Spring, which took place in April and May uh, of 2020. So it, we're starting to see the fruits of our labor uh, in terms of our engagement with Maltese language Wikipedia. If we look a little bit at the projects we've actually worked on and how those have impacted uh, Maltese language Wikipedia, we can see that in terms of Wikidas monuments, uh, we we basically went through the uh, the top ten photos from each each year, and we tried to see um, how many of the sites uh, that are the subject of the photos have an article in both English language Wikipedia and the Maltese language Wikipedia, and we can see that out of a total of forty photos. Um, 38 of them actually have articles in English language Wikipedia, but only 17 in Maltese language Wikipedia. And uh, we must say that many of these 17 are actually more related to the locality in which the monument is, is located rather than specific to the monument itself or to the uh, figure itself. If we look at how many of these images have been used in, in both English and Maltese language Wikipedias, um, we can see that um, in English language Wikipedia, we have a total of eight photos that have been used, but there have been none whatsoever used in Maltese language Wikipedia. So again, that's something that's showing that we haven't really succeeded in terms of turning the work we've done on Wikilove's monuments into engagement with Maltese language Wikipedia. Uh, if we look at Wikilove's art, so uh, as you can see, these are a list of, of articles that we've edited through or created through Wikilove's Arts and Art and Feminism. Um, the red links are actually pages that don't exist in Maltese language Wikipedia, even though a number of them exist in other languages, including Italian, Romanian, Egyptian, or Arabic. Uh, and the blue, blue links are the ones that do exist in Maltese. However, if we look at the, uh, the length of the articles themselves, we can see that in all cases, the Maltese language article is 
significantly shorter and presumably of lower quality than the English language equivalent. So again, this is something that we need to continue developing in terms of our engagement. Uh, CE Spring, uh, these are two comparative tables. I know that the content is not identical because there was some slight reshuffling during the competition itself, but it gives us an idea of, of the, the translations to the, the various languages of a number of the, these sites, which in this case are related to the QRpedia project. Uh, as you can see, um, we've had a number of translations to various languages, you know, Polish, Russian, uh, and various others. However, the, the Maltese pages for these sites do not yet exist. So again, this is something that we need to continue uh, pressing upon. Uh, when we were carrying out this analysis, we tried to kind of identify uh, the main issues that need work in terms of the Maltese language Wikipedia, and we put them under four main headlines. These being content, uh, issues related to the interface and how people actually navigate through Maltese language Wikipedia, uh, administration and the management of, of the, the, the content, and uh, capacity building and engagement. So if we're talking about content, the, this is what you met, what you what you see when you actually log on to the, the, the landing page of Maltese language Wikipedia. And as you can see, the, the there are far more red links than there are actually blue links. So the it's far more common to find missing content than there it is to find content that you would um, be looking for in the first place. Um, and the red links on the home page, especially, are, are, are a regular feature. Aside from that, we can see that uh, a lot of very basic content is actually missing. Uh, for example, there's no page for England, the country, and that instead redirects you to the United Kingdom page. And once you're on the United Kingdom page, you will discover that there's actually no page for Wales, which is slightly unusual. Uh, the content that does exist is actually built in a very, very random and unsystematic manner. And a lot of it is often based on people's interests. So we can see that, for example, there's no page for the cities of Liverpool and Manchester, but there are actually pages for Liverpool Football Club and Manchester United Football Club, because we presumably are more interested in football than we are in geography, I suppose. Um, and in, the, in terms of the articles that do exist, uh, the quality is quite lacking. Uh, many of them lack citations or, or uh, are written in a, in a tone that is not, uh, not appropriate. There's a lack of a neutral point of view in many cases. In many cases. Uh, there's a lack of wikification as well. And of, um, of the total articles, uh, which I remind you are around 3,500, uh, around 2,000 of them are actually under um, 4,000 bytes. So that's over half the articles are of more or less, uh, more or less stuff rather than fully fledged articles. Uh, if we look at the actual interface of Maltese language Wikipedia, um, again, there, is a, there are many issues here, but some that we've highlighted include, for example, a, a central banner that invites you to join the, the Maltese language Wikipedia Facebook page. Uh, and once you click on that, you'll find that the last post on the Maltese language Wikipedia Facebook page was uploaded in 2017. So even the Facebook page itself is no longer being actually maintained. Aside from that, the, uh, the about page uh, um, does not actually exist. So if you're on the home page and you click on about Wikipedia, you'll be met with uh, an invitation to actually create this page, which I think sums up the, uh, the lack of content quite nicely. Uh, we also have a lot of problems in terms of the, the linguistic inconsistency. So a lot of the interface is built in this very strange mix of Maltese and Italian. And this is uh, quite problematic, especially when, when engaging, uh, trying to engage new users, new editors. Uh, this is a screenshot of the visual editor. And as you can see from the highlights, uh, all the yellow highlighted parts are actually in Italian. Uh, quite bizarrely, whereas the rest is in Maltese. So you have this kind of dual language situation going on. Uh, we also have uh, a problem with 
the basic infrastructure. So there are very few help pages in Maltese. Um, so it's it's quite difficult to actually understand what you're meant to be doing and, and how you're meant to be obtaining help in Maltese language. Uh, there are problems with uh, missing templates and missing tools. So even things like uh, we've recently introduced something as basic as Hotcat, for example, which was lacking and which is now helping us to, to improve the situation in terms of missing ca categories and unneed, unneed pages. And we've actually, as you can see in the screenshot, we've actually created kind of a, uh, a mother page for, for content to, to kind of help streamline the, the, the categories that we need to be created. Sorry, uh, Neville, for um, interjecting the list of problems with Maltese Wikipedia, which indeed is true to the form of the talk. I'm, uh, I'm mindful that we've uh, we've run out of time for this uh, presentation. The, the closing uh, is in the same link, so please yeah. stay on for the wrap up. I wonder if there is maybe one more key point that you want to highlight of the many problems uh, well, I'll, that I'll, you've got left. I think we can close maybe with this, come on some of the okay. main issues that we, we can use to uh, improve Wikipedia. So improving the interface issues that we've gone through, uh, working to increase the number of articles by engaging with new editors, um, and uh, increasing our, our outreach. And hopefully something we hope to do in the future is engage a, a Wikipedia in a residence program. Um, so uh, okay, that's so exactly importantly, if I may, Neville, just to bring it to a close, we, we can continue having conversations with anyone who's interested at a meetup where we're having, you know, in a few minutes time. We'll also post this, uh, this URL to the meetup, uh, you know, coming up. This, this will be at 4 p.m. UTC and this will be on the telegram uh, as well so so please do join us we'll continue there because really what we need now is to have a discussion with anyone who's interested in helping us roll up our sleeves and do more on the Maltese language wikipedia thank you thank you both um there's actually uh, a few questions in the etherpad that i uh, invite you to go and check out after the talk. People are clearly very interested in Maltese as a language, so um, do have a look at that. I found it very interesting um, the way you were showing how connecting to existing initiatives within the Wikimedia movement can help with, with boosting your activities because it's uh programs and structures that already exist like the art of feminism or oculus feminists or indeed uh central eastern european ce spring which is a broad church and invites many organizations into its activities so thank you very much and um, there is the etherpad like i said the meetup is uh it's the regular meetup it's starting in half an hour but uh we are also starting our social act um the irish entertainment in half an hour so you can come to the meetup after you're done with irish poetry and dancing so um thank you neville and tony uh, i will now move to some closing thoughts and uh, again thank you for the presentation all right uh so uh, welcome to the end of uh, Thursday, the first day of our two-day conference. Um, I wanted to start with a simple question. Uh, please uh, find your way to the etherpad for the closing session. I'm hoping that one of the moderators will post that in the chat or you can find your way to it. And there is a question there that um, we wanted to hear your thoughts on. Um, simply put, what did you most enjoy today? Uh, do put your thoughts there. Uh, there is a little section for you to populate your ideas. We are just really keen to hear what you found interesting. Um, and hopefully you'll write something because we're live streaming this this section, so uh, please share your thoughts. And um, whilst you 
think about that. Let me just give you a few pointers of uh, what's happening later today. Um, like I said, in about half an hour at uh, 4 p.m. UTC, uh, we will have some Irish entertainment, which we would have probably enjoyed in, in Limerick if, uh, if we were all gathered in person. Uh, please come to enjoy some Irish poetry, maybe learn some more Irish even, and also to experience some Irish dancing. We're quite excited. We're looking far and wide to work out what sort of entertainment we provide you. So I uh, really hope you will enjoy that. Um, like we said, there's also the regular Maltese meetup. Come to learn more about this very interesting language. And um, as mentioned already in the beginning, the evening is sort of open to you uh, to enjoy any social activities. But um, one thing we recommend is to watch the video pool, is to watch the uh, presentations that have been pre-recorded. As some of you have already done, you can organize yourself in the um, Telegram to maybe watch it together. Do use the notes, the etherpads for the for the pre-recorded talks as well to um, drop any questions to to the authors or just exchange ideas of what um, you found interesting in the talk. Thank you for for adding your ideas uh, about what you liked best. One person liked the etherpad. Amazing. Just to as you shared ideas, just to share a few thoughts from. Uh, from the organizers of what we particularly liked. Definitely the, the keynote as well, and I'm glad to see it here highlighted as well. Um, what really touched us uh, was the people working with each other on creating the Wikipedia and Wikidata items, including some content on the keynote indeed. And uh, that made us feel like it's a true wiki conference where people generate the content about the things we're talking about as we talk about them. Um, we found that that the that the people have been really nice and, and friendly and helpful with the notes. Thank you so much with the amazing notes taking today. Very impressed with that. And uh, and and we've experienced that uh, people have been quite understanding with any of the technical issues that we've that we've experienced today and as we tried to iron them out as you, um, as you were participating in the conference. And one particular thing, uh, perhaps from Rebecca, is, is many thanks for helping to translate the Wikidata labels into Irish. Much appreciated. Um, just having a look at the comments. People liked lunch. That's very good. Thank you. Um, and a few more thoughts, maybe we can scroll down. Rebecca, see some more comments. Great to hear that the video pool is, is useful as well. We um, normally would have had maybe two tracks in the conference, many much more space to, to highlight all the live presenters, but we've decided to ask them to pre record their talks so that we can still enjoy them, just not live. So this is most of uh, what uh, we wanted to cover in this closing session. I've got one last thing for you. Um, we focused a fair bit on Wikidata today. However, we've also experienced a few languages. And um, what I'm really curious about, basing on the talks that you've heard today, which language? are you now interested to learn, assuming that you don't know them already? And this is a quiz. To access it, you have to go to um, menti.com. You can see the web address at the top of this slide. You can access it either on your computer or even on your phone, maybe easier. Uh, when you go to that page, it will ask you for an access code. The code for us is also on the top of the page. You can see it. it's uh, 777273. And that will give you um, opportunity to vote for two 
out of the four languages that have been highlighted today. Um, I'm told there is probably about 20 seconds gap uh, between the liveness and what you see, but I'm glad to hear people are starting to vote. I have no idea what the results are going to be, so I'm quite interested to see. Pretty head to head so far, apart from the about from the Moroccan language. Um, so uh, this is all we wanted to share with you today. Uh, in half an hour, like I said, uh, we'll have the uh, poetry and dancing. This will also be on the on the YouTube live stream. So tune in for that. Um, other than that, I hope you had a great first day of the conference, and I really hope to see you tomorrow for the second day. Um, just to help you get started with tomorrow, the, both the opening session and the keynote are at the same time as today. So the opening is at 9.30 UTC, um, followed by the keynote at 10 uh, UTC. And uh, at the opening, I'll explain how the rest of the keynote will follow, but hopefully see you here um, around 9. <laughs> Um, I'll leave this slide up so you can continue voting and um, perhaps we will tell you who won in the end tomorrow. Other than that, that's it from us. Uh, we'll leave this slide for you to, to vote and see you at the um, Irish Entertainment shortly. Thank you.